Ask yourself, what would it be like if everything you believed about yourself, everything, who you were when you were a little kid, whether you were a good kid or a bad kid, who your parents were, who your family was, what you did as a child, all the things you believe about yourself turned out not to be true. Who would you be then? One of the main protagonists is named Dylan, Dylan Rains. And he has been accused and put away for 21 years for murdering his mother and his father and his little sister and the family cat. One of the early child murders, one of the youngest people who has ever been put in juvenile detention in the state of Minnesota. But when he goes away, he's barely 12 years old. So he's also a little boy. And he has all of the vulnerability and a certain amount of charm that a little boy would have. And since the boy Dylan was put away for murdering those he loved, what will love do to the man he's grown into? Will it trigger something that will cause a repeat of this horror? And mixed into that is the innocent woman that stumbles into this volatile mix. And she's kind of an up from rough stones as well, from a trailer court in Mississippi, and she's really made something of herself. And she has two daughters who she absolutely adores. And she puts herself in a marriage with a person she doesn't know very well. And bit by bit, the clues come in that she is going to collide with this past. And she has to find out how to stop it before the killing starts again. I wasn't really interested in these people who plot it out and kill repeatedly. What I wanted to study for this book were people who do it probably just one time and don't necessarily even try to run and hide from it, though they try to cover in certain ways. What the mindset of a person who does one unbelievably heinous act is, and then live with that horrific thing, fascinated me. You don't know in this book if the good guys are gonna win or if the bad guys are gonna get away with it. The plot is developed in two parallel lines because I have the protagonists from when they were young and then the people who they grow into and then the clash of the backstory and the forestory. Twelve jurors, one judge, half a chance. And I thought, that's the title of my book. <laughs>